Hello everyone, so today's video is all about airbrush. I am new to airbrush and I've always wanted to try it, but I've always felt like there's just several different brands or companies that you can choose and I just didn't know which way to go and I just never really known which set to commit to. So I was pleasantly surprised when Dynair Airbrush reached out to me back in August, at the very end of August, asking if I would be interested in trying their airbrush machine and I said yes because again I've wanted to try it for a long time and they were kind enough to send me an entire kit for me to play around with and try it and then share my thoughts and opinions with you guys. So I am going to show you how to do the airbrush foundation. Now I'm still practicing how to use airbrush for eyeshadow and brows. Um, let's just say I've had some, some bumps in the road with that but I feel like eventually at some point I will get the hang of it. So if you're not familiar with airbrush I think it's a really cool sort of way to get a flawless looking complexion and you can use airbrush for so much more. I think that people think airbrush is just for makeup. You can use it to cover tattoos. You can use it to touch up your roots. I mean, I never thought about that. You can use it to give yourself a nice tan. And again, that's something that I didn't think about using a, a airbrush machine that I use for foundation to give myself like a tan or a glow on my chest and my arms, but you totally could do that. And they have all kinds of products for you to try. They even have lip products as well that you could use. And they have a couple different ranges of their uh, foundation lines. So the line that I'm going to be using, I'm, I decided to mix the Paramedical, which is a more full coverage for those with acne scars or active blemishes or breakouts. Um, that one's going to be a little bit heavier than the Glamour line. The Glamour line is a little bit more of a sheer to medium coverage. And they sent me the Paramedical line not that long ago. Um, it's been, I think, a couple weeks now. Because the Glamour line, unfortunately for me, because I am pretty oily, doesn't work. I feel like my skin got even oilier within about half hour. To the hour, I was pretty oily and I felt like it just sort of made my pores even more noticeable. I do have larger pores here, which is something that's pretty common with people who suffer from acne or oily skin. So they sent me the Paramedical, which is a bit heavier in coverage. So I have it on today, but what I've decided to do is I've been playing around with different techniques. So what I did was I put a very thin layer of my foundation, and then I went over it with the airbrush makeup on top just to give me a more fuller coverage. And you can totally do that. What you will see in the video, um, the before and afters, and the whole demo would be just the airbrush on my clean skin with nothing else underneath and nothing but just a moisturizer. So I wanted to go ahead and get into the demo so that you guys can see how this little gadget here works and how this can give you a flawless looking complexion. So here's the compressor. It's got a little dial here that you can use to turn on the machine. It's got a cute little rhinestone. It has um, the name uh, Dynair here. And then you have your nozzle that you apply your foundation in and then it just kind of sits in this little um, this little ring right here. And then of course you have all of this excess uh, hose here that um, the air comes through. My iPhone, this is the iPhone 6 in comparison to this unit here. It is very, very small and it's not that thick. It does have some weight to it, but I feel like because of the size, it's actually pretty good for travel. All right, so to start this whole look, I already have my concealer. It's something that I would recommend that you do beforehand, especially if you have some uh, color correcting to do and then um, applying some conceal over it. So I've done that. I've applied just my regular concealer from Maybelline. I've touched up a little red spot that's on my face, and I've pulled back my hair so that you guys can really see what we're doing here. Okay. So once you have your concealing done, I also, by the way, have a primer on my eyelids just so that this product doesn't crease because my lids get oily. If you have this kit or if you're going to purchase this kit and you watch the DVD, um, my DVD that I was sent has a little bit of an outdated um, how-to videos, but there is some on the website. Um, it says that you could do this without a moisturizer and without a primer, so just on bare, clean skin. I've tried that and my skin just feels really tight and because I'm oily I feel like that just kind of gets my oil, you know, kickstart the oil production when my skin is really dry and parched. I have used uh, moisturizer uh, previously earlier in a few, hour, few hours prior to this. I had on some moisturizer. I just kind of wiped most of that off. I'm going to uh, forego the primer for this one because I'm going to be using the Paramedical line. Uh, for the Glamour line, as I stated before, um, that I can't really get that to work for me because of my oily skin. So 
Um, I feel like I can get a pretty decent look and coverage and uh, as far as long longevity is concerned without the primer using the paramedical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light golden beige which looks like this. It's kind of yellowy. It's much deeper than the light golden beige in the glamour line. So there's going to be a subtle difference in the uh, tone of the color. And just to kind of show you, um, maybe even from a distance you might be able to see, this is vanilla from Paramedical and then this is vanilla from the Glamour. So it's much more concentrated and I think it's just because there's more pigment and color. So when you get your little bottles, you want to shake it up and you can hear the little beads in there mixing it up. So this has got a lot of water in there and just straight up pigment and that's the beauty about airbrush because it's just water and pigment and it just goes on the skin and it looks so much different than foundations and cream products. So I'm going to give it a good shake and you can also mix um, if you have like a shade in the paramedical that you want to use you can mix some a lighter shade or a darker shade in the glamour line just to kind of thin it out. Um, again customizable buildable. So I'm going to go in with the light golden beige and I'm going to add a little bit of the vanilla from the Glamour line. As I showed you just a moment ago, there are they are different as you can probably see there. There is a subtle difference, so I'm going to go with the one that's a little bit more pale. Alright, so now that everything is mixed, as you can see here, there's the product. I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to do circular motions. So basically without turning the machine on, you just kind of want it to sit in your hand and kind of get comfortable with it and just kind of practice pulling this back um, because there isn't any little bands as you will see in the DVD, at least in my DVD there's like some little um, rubber bands that you can put around it to prevent you from pulling back too much. So that's why it's taken a little bit of time for me at least because I am pretty heavy handed with things so I have to kind of practice just slowly pulling back on, on the lever so that a little bit of product comes out. And I think it, what's key is not also not having the unit on too high where there's too much air and pressure coming out of it because um, if you get too close and you have too much air, you're going to get like a big splot of like some sort of like color. It's going to look really bad when you just get too close to the skin. So what you want to do is make sure that you are a good several inches away from the face. Uh, you can be, you know, six to eight inches away. Just you have to get comfortable with it um, because this is such a fairly new process to me. I'm still sort of learning, you know, techniques and you know things that kind of help me and cut time down for me because this does take a little bit of extra time and it takes you know some building and layering of the product in order to get a nice full coverage, nice even look to the skin. So I'm going to start with it on a lower amount. Um, in the videos it shows that you can sort of rest your elbow on a you know flat surface if you want while you get used to doing this and then to start with circular motions without any product, just the air so that you can kind of get a feel for what it's like having the machine on and having that air kind of come in contact with the skin. And my hand does get tired a little bit especially if you're going for full coverage, you're going to be here for a bit. So I'm going to turn on the machine and you guys can, hopefully the camera can pick that up. And when you, if you pull back the lever, you can even do it on like on the back of your hand, just sort of lightly to see. And I can see that not much is coming out. So when that happens, I just kind of move the dial a little bit more to the left and see how that goes. And you will feel it once the air and the foundation come out you will feel like a burst of cool air coming through and it will feel much different than just the air. So I'm going to start on one side of my face here and I'm going to go in circular motions and I'm going to keep the nozzle tip a, you know, a good distance away from my face because I can feel it on my skin. So if you don't really feel anything, you might want to make sure that you didn't run out of product or that you are not on a very low setting. And again, this is just what works for me and how I've gotten used to it. And it's just, it feels really nice and refreshing because it's just a cool burst. So you want to go in circular motions around the skin. Um, in the video they show you to pull a little bit the skin under the eye if you're going to go under it. And don't be afraid to go around the eyes because it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's water mostly in the product anyways. And um, it's not going to harm you. But you can close your eyes if you wanted to. And I'm just going to go in circular motions and I'm going to take my time with this because I'm not in any rush really to get this done and that's the thing with this. It's not something that you do with just a little bit of time.
And also one thing to note um, when you're doing this, just to take your time and do circular motions and, and keep it away from the face because what you want to do is have just really light sort of mist of product all over the face and you just kind of go just slowly around the skin and you will start to sort of build up your coverage and you will start to feel like you've got a nice coverage on the skin and so far, let me turn this off, so far it doesn't feel heavy at all, it actually doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin really and I really like that and I've just been touching my face and there's not anything on my hands. Now I'm not saying that it's not transfer proof or anything like that, I'm just saying that just touching it, it feels really dry and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey. Um, and this does take a lot of practice and I feel like I've gotten better because the first time that I used this I didn't know what to expect and I had like streaks everywhere because I was too close, then I was too far away. I just sort of had to play with it for a good bit of time to really get to where I'm at right now. I feel like I do need to put a little bit more like around my chin and my mouth and just around my nose so I'm going to keep working at it, keep layering it um, and then I will meet you back with the finished look. So that is the demo. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing that. Um, for me, this was very fun to do. It's fun for me to get up here in my little beauty room and to do my makeup. It is something that does take a little time. I do feel like airbrush, uh, doing the whole process of using the, um, the nozzle applicator to do your airbrush makeup, I do think it takes a little bit of more time. And you also have to take care of this. You have to clean where you put your product in. You have to clean the tip of it and store it properly. So it is something that takes a little bit of time. I Honestly, I have to say that I don't use this every day. I'm a mom of a three-year-old or almost three-year-old. And I don't have time to do airbrush makeup every single day. But it is fun to sort of play with it and sort of give myself, like today, I just did a very light dusting and I felt, I feel like I notice a difference when I do that, even though my foundation does give me pretty good coverage. And I do feel the paramedical line works much better than the glamour line for my oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely recommend the paramedical. If you have um, just normal, maybe even dry combo skin, I would say try the the glamour line to see if you like that and they come in little bottles like this 0.25 fluid ounces and I think that the packaging is really cute it, and you can hear the bottles when you shake up the product there is water and pigment in here and that's what makes this different is not only the coverage that it can give you you can go from a very light barely there to a very full-on coverage very sort of like I wouldn't say Photoshop skin Although some people might describe airbrush as a photoshopped look to the skin. I wouldn't say so. I mean, you could definitely get some full coverage if you sort of spot conceal beforehand. And I believe I showed you that in the, in the video where I already had my concealer done. Just because I prefer to use concealer under my eyes versus the airbrush. But you can get a very customizable look to your skin. If you want, like I did today, a light layer. Or if you want to go full on with the makeup and just go full glam. Now this is something that is fun to do day to day if you wanted, if you have the time. If you have special occasions, now that the holidays are fast approaching, you want to look good for your photos. This is something that you could use for that. Or you can just bump up what you're currently using to um, much more fuller coverage and just a different finish. Now with this, I do feel like when I use this, I don't feel anything on my skin, which is really, really fantastic. Because the last thing you want to do is have a really nice sort of complexion, really flawless look, and then feel very like you're wearing a mask, very heavy on the skin and this feels very lightweight even though today I did wear it over something else but normally when I wear this on its own just my moisturized clean skin I feel nothing like I literally feel just my skin and that's what makes this so different for me as far as this in comparison to regular foundation because I don't have other airbrush machines or brands to compare this to so for me I do like this I do think that it's a very sort of fun and very cool um, thing to do from time to time now what's also cool is that you can mix your shades you can customize entirely what you want to do for your foundation um, just because a color on the website is marketed as a blush doesn't mean that you can't apply to the eye because they're all made the same way they're made with mostly water so you're not going to have in my experience any sort of breakouts or anything like that as I have broken out from other foundations that have so many other ingredients that may not be so good for your skin so I will also put the link to this down below because they do have before and after pictures I have the site listed um, or up on my computer they do have tutorials on the website you can watch videos on how to do it that's why this video is not a super in-depth one because if you get this set I don't want to give you the same information that you're gonna see on the DVD that's gonna come with your kit 
or the same information that you can watch from a video because I think you know it just sort of gets um, just redundant giving you the same info but there is a tab for videos or tutorials um, there is a section for men um, for acne and scalp coverage tattoo coverage you can do all of this with this machine and you can do your eyebrows you can do your liner you can I mean, I'm still practicing with the liner. Let's just say I've had a couple hot mess days <laughs> playing around with it, but I do feel like eventually when I get the technique down, I will do a video, a full face. Eyebrows, eyeshadows, the liner, the blush, the highlight, and you have seen this on my face in previous videos that I've just mentioned it. Um, you've seen my highlight is sometimes has been the highlight that they've sent me, and I have all of my little uh, jars or bottles in a little bag that I just had from like a monthly subscription that I saved. But you just see, you can maybe you can tell how there's water and then the pigment settles. You just shake that up, and quickly you can be on your way to airbrushing. So it's a really simple process to get the hang up. So if you decide to check out the website that is linked down for you below in the description box, you will be able to see um, there's a shop tab and there's airbrush kits tab where you can buy a kit with all the stuff that you need. So the currently right now as I'm filming this video, the basic uh, personal basic kit that retails for $99 on the site is currently unavailable, it's out of stock, so what you would have to do if you wanted that is just to put your name, number, and email, and they'll notify you when that comes back. But when you scroll down to the page, it will tell you what your kit includes. And that's pretty cool how you get, you know, all the things that you need to start in this whole airbrush um, makeup. And if you wanted to get a uh, personal pro kit, that one is a little bit more expensive, that's uh, $199. And that is the kit that I got. And then you also can get the Studio Pro Kit. If you are a makeup artist, as I mentioned before, that is $299. And uh, it says it's a $600 retail value or, or $600 value. They literally make everything and they cover your bases from start to finish, which is really great. And you can also choose your compressor um, colors. And if you want a specific designs on the compressor, which is the machine that um, you plug into your outlet, uh, you would have to pay extra for the colored ones or like the leopard prints or anything like that. So they have a ton of different colors and the one that I have here is the champagne color which is really pretty. I do like it and it has a cute little rhinestone, very sort of girly and feminine. I do like that. So I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a full face tutorial using this. I will try to get that or perfect my technique and kind of put a rush on that <laughs> for you guys and I'll be more than happy to do that. Or if you guys just wanted to see just foundation, blush, contour, and bronze or things like that, I can do that as well because I am comfortable doing that. Uh, so I will have everything down below for you. I hope that the demo was helpful as well so you can see how this applies. It may not be the exact way to do it, but again, I sort of tried different ways. I followed the tutorials and then I found ways that work best for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to expand the description box because everything is listed down below. And the link down below is not an affiliate link so I don't get any credit if you purchase any of their sets or products or kits. I just put that there for convenience. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.